to show you guys um, an easy way to transfer a design onto your pot, okay? You could do this if you're underglazing. We're going to use it with Scraffito. So Scraffito um, is where you take underglaze and paint it on three to four coats, and then you actually scratch through the underglaze. Did you guys, when you were little, did you ever do those scratch boards? Same thing, but on clay. It's super, it's super cool. Um, so I have put my three coats on here. This is getting a little dry. It's still uh, a little leather hard, but I want to add just a smidge of moisture in there. I'm not dousing it, but so if your pot gets too dry, you can use your spray bottle. Now, you could use anything to transfer um, an image on here. You could find some cool wrapping paper, some scrapbook paper, um, like a candy wrapper of your favorite candy bar, um, whatnot. You could print out just patterns off the internet, and then you're going to wrap it around your cylinder, and you're going to take a ballpoint pen, and you're going to trace, applying firm, firm pressure, you're going to trace that design, okay? And then that will transfer it onto your pot. So here I've got this little bunny that I did. Ooh, he barely fits. I'm gonna rip this so I can fold it on both sides. So again, if you like to draw, you could draw your own image. Um, let's say I wanted to make a whole series of cups with this guy on it. I could just go and photocopy this 20 times and use it on each cup, okay? So I'm gonna hold this here wrap it around, I'll make sure I get his ears on there. And then with the ballpoint pen, applying firm, tech, firm pressure, I'm gonna start tracing this. So the idea is the ballpoint pen like just moves really smoothly over the paper. Um, it won't work as nicely with the pencil and then it's just indenting my design. Now I will say as I'm doing this and trying to do it very quickly, I do not want you to use any copyrighted images. So no Mickey Mouses, no SpongeBob. Either draw your own image or find a pattern or like I said, like any like I think labels would be really cool. You really gotta pay attention that you're not skipping any lines. I feel like I did. I'm just gonna lift up half of this. All right, it's gonna be hard to see on the video. You're not gonna be able to see it. Um, but I can see the very faint line here. So in the other video you're gonna watch, I show you how you can use this kind of stuff to just like scrape off in different patterns. But if you wanna do something more detailed and you have a wooden skewer at home, you can, so it's hard to do without my glasses on. It's really hard to do without my glasses on. I'm just for right now gonna outline this guy and see how it's just scraping off the design. So if you've taken other art classes where you did like hatching, cross hatching, those techniques come in handy here. I wish I would have pressed a little bit harder with my pen because it is hard to see. And right now I'm just trying to get it in here so I can see it better. And then I'm really going to work on it to get the details that I want. Normally we would blow on this, but obviously I can't blow on it. So you can see that I'm starting to just get the basic lines there. And then I can go in 
and like start scratching away certain parts to make it look more furry. Um, you know, I want his eyes to be solid. So I'm gonna scratch all that out there. Um, since we can't blow on them, um, I would recommend having like a paintbrush that you can just kind of dust it off a little bit, okay? So you can do something like this with an image, um, as long as it's not a copyrighted image, um, or you could find a pattern like this, or you can still just freehand it and do whatever you want on there. But I just wanted to show you a couple different ways. Um, you know, if you wanted to put your name on it or something like that, you could do letters all the same. Somebody have any questions about that? All right, that's it.